I hope the people are too. Mm -hmm. Um, but man, speaking of music, you know, um, yeah, this, uh, this past week, you and I both, although we went separately to the same place, we both experienced, uh, the same ritual in, in the context that we were under the same roof with, you know, hundreds of other people talking about high lung, of course. Um, and I, was that your first high lung ritual? Exactly my first high lung. It, it was? Yes. Mine too. So I was curious, you know, um, to hear, you know, and for us to talk about it. Because, you know, when you follow, I don't know how long you've been following High Lung for or listening to their stuff. But, you know, they're, all of their stuff that gets shared, whether, you know, on YouTube or, or anywhere else, you know, you see pictures, right? And it's like, it looks so magical right and it looks so amazing from that mm. angle from the outside looking in um what were what, what what expectations did you have going to huntsville this past week it being your first time right kind of getting that that your highland cherry popped as it were <laughs> because mine was too right what, what, what expectations did yeah. you have going into it if any well, going back, circling back to where you said when I first um, started listening to them was back in 2020, when I first okay. started hearing about them. Like bands like High Long, Scald, um, what, well, I heard about Wardrina first, and then I it, yep. went, flowed into that, and then uh, Scald was third on my list. But going into it, um, it was an unpopular opinion. It's an unpopular opinion. But um, it wasn't... I'm the kind of person that doesn't like to go where, with the flow of everybody's favorite is this band and that, that stuff. Mm-hmm. So they were one of my top favorite bands to, to listen to because, um, again, like Seder Bloat and stuff is pretty, is one of my favorites. And Integral yeah. Loopy is another one of my favorites. Oh, yeah. But, I can't, they got some new stuff coming out too soon. Yeah. I'm excited for. But I, when I heard they were coming into town, uh, oh, town, I was like, I was like pretty shocked they would take flight. Um, North Alabama, yeah, as yeah. their um, venue of choice for um, their upcoming um, tour. So I was like, I was leaning back and forth. I was like, that week, you know, when they were about to announce the release of it, you know, of the tickets and stuff. I was like, I might as well go because I'm not going to probably experience them like this for a long time again. So I didn't want to miss that chance. So. I took the opportunity and I got it. Hmm. So out of all of the, like the last that you say you started listening to high lung, came familiar with him, gave him some attention, you know, like around 2020, mm-hmm. you know, a few years ago. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and they've come to the States twice since, since then, at least they yeah. did the red rocks thing. And then I did Chicago yeah. and they, I mean, they did other tours. Right. So I think this yeah. is a, this is a right around like their third return trip to the U S um yeah was was there something about you know when you first heard them up to now that made you pull the trigger on going to this show and not the other two tours that came prior like did did something Uh, click for you that i want to go to this one now and why didn't i go to the others before or anything like that well the reason why uh the main reason i didn't go to the others is because distance they just weren't close to you right yeah, and right. since they were close, that's what made me pull the trigger was that they were close. Sure. And, the, the and it would, of it. Yeah, the convenience of it, because I'm only like 30 minutes away from, 30 to 40 minutes away from there. Nice. So um, so it's not too far. It didn't take me to drive. I got back here later later that night. Um, as soon as the, uh, every, the after, as soon as I got merch and stuff, so. Yeah. Was, um... um Go ahead. No, no, I was going to say, if, you know, was, uh, without going into it, without, I guess, you know, you were kind of, again, not having any expectations, right? Because an unpopular opinion, as you say, like, hey, they weren't my favoritist band or, or, or thing coming out in that yeah. style of music. But yeah. this time you're like, well, I figured since they're, you know, within an hour from me, yeah. may as well, may as well go and check out and see what all the hubbub is about, see what all the hype's about. Yeah, exactly. And I've always been, the kind of person that uh, would listen to a band sometimes if I haven't, if I don't recognize them or something, or if I do recognize the band, 
I don't usually, sometimes if I don't have a high opinion of them sometimes, and I do go to the shows, every experience I've done, I've been blown out of the water. Like, I went to see 